storytelling, of course, is not a new thing at all, right? People have talked about it for a long, long time. But authentic storytelling is really a, a somewhat new discipline because we used to have marketing storytelling, like the, the uh, fiction storytelling. Movies have a lot of storytelling in them, of course, as well. But authentic storytelling is you use the stories that are happening in your organization to actually move business goals forward. Um, so I call that authentic storytelling. Um, lots and lots of barriers. Of course, we can talk about how organizations that are that are, that are running into them uh, because it's hard to tell stories. We want to sound correct. What, what the boss thinks is correct. Um, you know, it's a, a approval hell. We can talk about that for sure. That's when uh, content gets approved like eight times. And by the time it's done, it's no longer authentic. It's really just marketing gobbledygook. Um, so that's really everything I do circles around that. And then, of course, also, how do you distribute it to people? How do you get it to them through social media, email, uh, speaking, interviews? Doesn't make any difference what it is, right? But you, you find every channel um, to share your stories that, that are currently uh, out there. You've brought up something interesting that I haven't thought of before um, in that, I mean, with, with these interviews that we do, these sessions, we don't really edit them out too much. We, we keep them all as authentic as possible. But when it comes to, say, um, some of the content writing that we do, whether it's our emails or our blog posts, uh, we do go through a series of kind of checks and approvals, which kind of reduces, I suppose, that authenticity um, or that rawness, I suppose. Uh, are there any, like, what's, what's your thoughts on that? Because I know you, you, you brought it up. <clears throat> yeah, I'm, I'm a big fan of teamwork and I'm a big fan of having good editors, but I'm not a big fan of people who just throw their weight around and who just edit because they have, they're, they're higher up in the chain of command, right? And in fact, a lot of times I have a rule on my teams that I work with, uh, we don't edit for preference. We edit for reason, right? This doesn't make sense or it doesn't, there's something actually wrong, but we don't change something just because somebody else likes a different word better. Uh, it's totally a waste of time on everybody's part. And then the worst thing is people argue back and forth. No, my word is better. No, my word is better. Oh my God, what a waste of time. We could have used that for something else. So I'm a big fan of teamwork. I'm a big fan for people making our content better, uh, but I'm a big, big opponent of, people just editing to slow things down and to, you know, to not even make the content better. Um, so really th that's a kind of a new system, quite frankly, still, unfortunately. Uh, but, but people need to kind of wrap their head around that on, um, you know, is it actually improving the content or am I just trying to justify while I exist in the process?